I welcome everyone uh, to this uh, session. So today uh, is the intro session. Basically, it was a task call, and I I am yet to um, find out the reason. There are close to some 850 registrations so far for this course, and the actual course will begin from 12th of uh, this uh, November, which is coming Saturday and Sunday. So this Saturday, Sunday, and the next Saturday, Sunday. So the total, there are four days that have been allotted to this course. And in these four, uh, four days, we are going to understand completely ISO 27001. And I will say simplified ISO 27001 and the new version of 20, uh, 2022. This uh, version is launched in uh, uh, 25th of October. Uh, almost uh, what you say just 15 days uh, from today and uh, I, I am able to find out there is none in the whole world who has taken this initiative uh, to give this kind of activity and that too in into the free mode so I would like everyone uh, your all your support and all that so we can take this forward and uh, we can deliver in a better way your suggestions are most welcome where where you feel that we need to correct something or we need to add something your suggestions are most important to me now let me take this further what we are going to cover into this session uh, today and uh, the actual main course so a few lines about me my name is Jagbir and I am basically a paralegal cyber security consultant, risk advisor, penetration tester and a trainer to many other activities. I had been a trainer for CISA, trainer for CISSP and uh, I did my this ISO 27001. So the, 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 the previous version was 2013 and prior to that was 2005. So I did this ISO 27001. The version at that time was 2005 and uh, it is a long journey so i have done implementation uh, if the if i talk about the size of implementation there are companies with uh, say five employees and there are companies with 50000 employees and having more than 50 plus locations so such kind of big implementation i have done in my past experience <clears throat> My area of expertise, mainly I rely on to ISMS, that is Information Security Management System, then IT Service Delivery Management System, Business Continuity. Also, I am uh, I'm quite uh, technical in nature because before coming to compliance, I did my this TEH, that is Certified Ethical Hacker, CHFI, Forensic Investigator and other technical uh, activities. So till day also, I am uh, involved into uh, technical assessments, I personally do red teaming, blue teaming, security drills and all those things. So more or less, I am like a technical person who understand the technicality, the requirement of the, the current uh, threat landscapes, the current threat vectors and the compliance requirement to all those things. So these are my some of the certification which I did and all that. Just a few words about me. I have also flashed my mail ID, personal mail ID and my this uh, mobile number in focus it is my company which i am running so I, at present i am running all my activities under the name of in focus it consulting private limited uh, now coming to the action agenda that we are going to discuss in today's call so we are going to see uh, the isms iso 27002 uh, 27001 2022 simplified then what is iso 27001 and ISO 27002. So what is the difference? Mm, many of the people keep struggling. They, they, they uh, keep asking oh, what is the difference between 1 and 2 and all that. Then what's new in the current version and the pre-requested to learn and implement ISO 27001. So this is the action agenda that we are going to discuss today. There, there was a specific reason for keeping this intro session today because we have a lot of work to do for the next coming four days. So do, that was the main reason why I kept this intro session today, where I would, would be introducing myself, 
and the course and all those things so under this coming four days i would be making you learn 27001 right from the scratch means from zero knowledge to, to the confidence that yes now i know 27000 very well coming four days this is my assurance to you that you will you take this assurance that you will feel that kind of trust and that kind of uh, uh, what you say confidence that yes you know 27001 very well and now you are in a capacity to implement iso 27001 either into your organization or if you are into the consulting domain to my fellow friends who are already certified their organizations are already certified uh, they would be asking for now because they are, they are already certified for the old version then there are two three questions when to do transition how to do transition what would get changed what are the documentation that they need to refresh and all those things so although uh, this would this is going to be a very big session so we won't be we we won't be discussing about the transition part because that that is a different activity so in our coming uh, these four days we would be taking uh, uh, 27001 implementation right from the scratch so assuming that you are a new uh, born to this compliance industry and from that point of view i would be discussing ISO 27001. So that's why I have written that. What are the pre-requisite uh, required to learn and implement ISO 27001? And those my fellow friends who are already into this compliance domain and all that, I request all of you may please help me to uh, to give better suggestions so that we can take this uh, more uh, clear and all that. now uh, let me take some questions so there are few of the persons who have asked some question then then we'll take this further the voice is clear and all that okay uh, anyone who want to ask any question can raise your hand otherwise i need to take this forward okay now coming to the course schedule this course is scheduled from 12th of november 2022 and uh, that is we will be starting from 11 to 1:30 pm this is indian standard time so all my friends who are from the different geographical locations they need to convert their time zone and all that because i have no idea that you are from which of the uh, location so i have given my time zone accordingly you have to do the required conversions and all that so what are the topics that we are going to cover in uh, the first day that also i have mentioned so we would be addressing to uh, some of the practical worksheets then starting from iso 27001 we would be addressing clause number 4 clause number 5 so iso 27000 actual uh, that start from clause number 4 clause number 1 2 3 they are the intro uh, vocab vocab and the references part only so the main isms framework start from clause number 4 only and we have pdca cycle so we would be taking clause 4 and 5 on the first day that is on the 12th of november then on 13th of november we would be having a next session the same time then we would be taking clause number 6 and 7 and under clause number 6 we have the most important task to do that is your risk assessment so that is one of the critical part and the most challenging activity that uh, is to be done into the uh, clause number 6 that is the pl planning clause so i would be giving you the practical workout how we would be doing this and you would be doing yourself then uh, on 19th we would be uh, focusing on clause number 8 9 10 and then on 20th we would be focusing on annexure a controls so there is a major shuffle into annexure a controls earlier there were 14 domains in the previous version and under 14 domains there were 114 controls now the controls and the domains they are they are having a major shuffling the 14 domains are now made four domains so there there is a major shuffling and 114 controls 
they are being modified to 93 controls some of the controls are being merged with like two controls are merged into a single one and some of them have been omitted and there are some other new controls that have been added so uh, the new majorly the new controls that are added like cloud security cloud security is one of the part that was not been addressed into iso 27001 and this part is now being addressed into 27001 standard so if you see the the complete overview structure of iso 27001 one of the common myth that uh, organization or people have that this standard belongs to IT department. So I would like to give uh, here my uh, comments that this standard does not belong to IT department. The certification is to be given to the organization. And when I say organization, organization means the whole organization. So all the functions that come under the umbrella of ISO 27001 and what are what all is selected into the scope of ISO 27001. So we would be discussing an extra ray controls and policy docs. So this is the core schedule. Then, then there are a lot of exercise to be done, which would be your home task. I would be giving you like this is the exercise and you need to do this. How you would be doing that also I would be giving into the session in the session that we would be discussing and then uh, you would be given some home task that these are the like i have given a list of exercise starting from exercise zero to exercise 27 and if you say exercise 27 which says that final audit report so it means that starting from zero to hero like you are a new way you are a beginner into ISO 27001 that's why I have written exercise zero where, where we would be doing the zero level work and then uh, so if if you read out the exercise number zero it says that your objective from this course and the exercise so first of all you need to very clearly you need to write down that this is my objective this this is the intended outcome that I want to achieve out of this course Based on that, you would be start. You would be starting your journey, starting from exercise number one, two, three, four, and goes up to exercise number twenty-seven. So these are the exercises that I would be giving to you. They would be a kind of home task. Normally, when we have this implementation program, it's a full day program that is to be covered into four days. On fifth day, we have the exams. So four days, eight hours a day, and that is total 32 hours. But if you see our course, I have I have uh, total taken somewhere around 10 hours only, where in 10 hours, I would be delivering the content. The rest of the 20 hours would be 20 to 30 hours, and it may be more also. They would be required by you as a home task, where you would be doing all these exercises at your home. And then you would be submitting your exercise with with me, and uh, then uh, where where you are stuck up, where wherever you need some help, you would be getting all those things. So this is exercise number A. We have to start from here, and this is an extra A control. And today only you have to do this exercise. What the exercise is? Assume this is you have to take a white paper, a blank white paper, something like uh, you have to take a white paper like this, something like this, and with your hand, you have to write down the complete exercise A, you have to just write down the purpose of doing this, that also let you know. See, when we write down all these controls, there is a high possibility that 30 to 40 percent content you will remember on the very first day. So this is exercise number A. And I want all of you to perform this exercise. You need to give your precious time from your busy schedule and you need to do this exercise A, which says start here. And 
once you are done with the exercise what you would be doing you will be taking a snapshot of this page that is your handwritten uh, controls just write your name on the corner somewhere take a snapshot and send it to me on the telegram group only so that group is the mode of communication that we would be doing because for me uh, it, uh, there is no other way that i can communicate with you although i have flashed my number also with you i have always given my mail id and my alternate number is also with you my company number but may please avoid calling for regular calls because we are into our activities also so maybe i can't i won't be able to take 100% all your calls so just drop your message and wherever you are stuck just send me your message comments or if some like you need some emergency help then you can call also so this is the way we are going to start with i hope i i am able to explain the activities well and uh, that's all for the today's session the intro part now if anybody having any questions can please raise hands so i have taken uh, 30 minutes so already 9 minutes we are over so anybody having any questions in regard to the activities that we are going to do let me know uh, jagbir jayant here maybe i just have one advice uh yeah. once we are done that all the exercises maybe after maybe a few days we can have on review session also so that we can review all the exercises randomly we can pick up any one exercises or two exercises and we can review on that over the call so that everybody will understand that right uh, yes kind that, of refreshment that can that can also be done so that's why that's why i i always say your suggestions are most welcome so anybody who wants to give like uh, jayan thank you for the suggestion and definitely will take this forward and in our group we have the other uh, fellow friends also who are like they are good into iso 27001 the previous version so they can also help us into this activity the this exercise and all that um, exercise a pdf you will get i'll i'll would be sharing the pdf on the group only telegram group please stay stay connected with the telegram group only for all the next communications